just going to be a really quick uh, demo here, demonstration of how we need to service oil injection systems. Really simple, but there's a couple key uh, parts that we can never ever overlook. And what's cool about this is you're going to be able to relate this to also dry sump oil systems on four strokes as far as bleeding the air <laughs> out of the dry sump lines and tank. So that's what we're really going to focus on. So first off, let's look at our overall you know, training board here. We got a pair of handlebars. And on two strokes, uh, take a look really in this overall area here is that we pull the throttle, we are opening our slides and we're controlling how much oil is going to go into the motor. So these lines right here represent a feed line that's going to feed. In this case, it would be down here. This would come from an oil tank and we have oil just sitting here and these go out to each cylinder. So in the case of this two cylinder, each one of these lines would go into the injection manifold to feed the engine oil. We do not want any air in here. If we have any air in the line it can become trapped and it will not pump. That air will sit there and just bubble around and you will get no oil that cylinder. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, yeah. Okay so one thing we like to do is prime oil lines. So I don't care if it's two stroke, four stroke, anything. We want to take and to do that I take a little funnel and I put some oil down here and I would take and just crack this bottom line allowing the air to leak out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Two-stroke oil pumps have a bleeder in it, everyone I think I've ever seen has a bleeder on it. A couple different things we could do. So our oil tank is also going to be above the oil pump. This is back behind the rear fender on like mopeds or it's going to be above the uh, engine uh, on a snowmobile. So this is always the lowest point in the system. Clear on that? So what we could do here is I could crack this loose. I got a couple of crush washers on here and that will burp some oil out of there too. It's going to make a little mess. Once the engine is actually running, what we do is we would take and loosen this faster right here. I'm going to take it all the way out just so you guys can see that the reason I know it's the bleed is I have a crush washer. Does that make sense? So what you do is you just leave, and you gotta be careful on two strokes because they're vibrating a lot. You don't wanna sit and, and, and turn that thing out a bunch of threads and you definitely don't wanna walk away from this. Uh, what I like to do is I will crack it loose and then if possible, I will hold on to it and then flip the throttle. And what'll happen is you'll watch air bubbles burping out of this. And once you have a solid stream of oil out of that, what do you know about the pump? There's no more air trapped in it. But the thing we have to think about is, so by cracking this line loose, we're going to know that all the air is out of this line up into the tank, okay? By cracking this loose, we know that all the air is out of the pump. But is there still a possibility that there's air and the lines going to the manifold or to the engine? Yes. Okay, the other thing is most all your street vehicles your motorcycles and mopeds that were uh, oil injected, guys, this line isn't clear. This, all your mopeds, this is a black line and you can't see anything. So you really need to take the line off at the manifold and basically be burping that. So this is a reason that a lot of people like to run a premix when they do their first two stroke overhauls is because they know they gotta burp this air out. But the thing is, this only takes a couple of seconds. If you use a, a good amount of assembly lube, and then you take and make sure and prime this ahead of time, <coughs> you will eliminate that air that's in there and you won't have any problems to begin with. But like I said, another way people get worried and they say, well, geez, I don't like oil injection because I don't know if it's working. Well, if you want to know if oil injection works, all you got to do is get the engine running and basically pull this line off at the manifold. This would be over here something like this, okay? Just pull it off. And if oil is burping out of there, is your oil pump working? Yeah. Absolutely. So that's, uh, that's what we need to do. The next thing I'm going to talk about here is that we have some adjustments. Anytime you see a cable that has threaded, uh, uh, threaded length on it with two different nuts like this, means that we have the availability to adjust the cable up and down. You see what's going on there? Okay, so that means it's an, an adjustable cable here. And what's going to happen is that's going to change where this arm lines up. There's a line right here at the top, and then there's a stationary line here casted in the pump. And right now at idle, do you see how there's a line that's pretty, it's fairly lined up? Yeah. Okay. This little dot right here could be another reference mark for something. The only ones that I know of are the full throttle. So when I go into a full throttle position, can you see how those two are not lined up right now? Yeah. Okay, so that means that I want 
this to come down. So if I take this here, I hold this at this full throttle position. If I take this here, do you see how I'm rotating that around? And then I would lock this down and life would be good. Go ahead and uh, open and close it. Okay. Do we like it? Yes, and sometimes what you'll have is a threaded screw or some type of adjuster there as well. But what, what you absolutely want is, in every manual out there has this full throttle specification. The other thing on our training board, can you see how this cable's kinked? Yeah. How much of a problem do you think that is? Oh, it's not. This thing needs a, a new cable. It's not looking so good. Look, look at how bent that is. And it's stiff. That should be free. This needs a new cable. Do not... You, you got throttle cables that got a, a force bent kink in there, you just need a new one. It just needs to be replaced. So um, for your YouTube viewers, there's another important factor here that we would want to know about. Uh, of course we just did our adjustment here, but this is the last cable to be adjusted. Do you guys remember talking in our curriculum how let's focus on this whole area? We have here that we're opening the throttle slides here. Well. If you can see, if you can focus up here, I have one cable coming out of my throttle housing that's operating the slides and it's operating this oil pump all at the same time. What we want to make sure and do is if this cable has any adjustments uh, up inside of here, a lot of times this will come off and you actually have adjusters here. We want to make sure that this cable, the one from the throttle arm to the housing is always adjusted first and that its free play is taken up. We would not want to go right to here. Right. Makes sense? So tip for you YouTube viewers and you guys for review is that we always need to adjust the throttle cable first, take up the free play because if we have a whole bunch of free play, I'll give an example. It, do you see how much is moving here before the arm moves? This, this has to take up all this slack before it even moves that and then it would alter this if I go back and adjust the throttle cable after this has been set, that's gonna move where that lands, okay? So let's take uh, some key points for review here. Number one, which cables adjusted first on all oil injection systems? Throttle. Throttle, throttle free play, okay? Number two, what must we bleed out of the oil injection system? Air. 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 How do we go about doing that? A couple Maybe ways. At the pump and work next. <laughs> Would you guys agree the way I demonstrate here was every single line? Yes. So I want the air out of the feed line, I want the air out of the pump, and I want the air out of the end of the manifold. So I gave you three places that I'm asking that you verify and bleed that air out of. Okay? That's how you do uh, oil injection systems.